book. Hi everybody and welcome. Today we're going to make some brown bread. So first of all I have my tin. This is a one pound loaf tin. Okay and I'm going to light, line it with some parchment paper. So I have my parchment paper. And the good thing about parchment paper is you don't have to grease it and your bread isn't going to stick to it. So we'll just cut into the edge of the tin, just like this, and we'll just trim off a little bit of the parchment paper because it's too long. And if you have a gas oven, there's likelihood of it going on fire. And just again on the other side, in. So you actually have your piece of parchment paper and it's just cut a little bit in, maybe two or three inches in and two or three inches in on both ends so that it should sit down and into your tin. Like that. Okay, and we do this just in case you have a uh, a loaf tin that's well used and the non-stick no longer works on it. So that's our tin ready. So we can just leave that over there for a couple of seconds. And we have a mixing bowl and we have a mug. A good old-fashioned common or garden mug. Now, you want to have some strong wholemeal flour or whichever preference in wholemeal flour you have. This recipe also works really well with belt flour. So if we put in three quarters of a mug of our wholemeal flour and if we gener generously top that up with white flour. If you want a very strong brown bread then just use all wholemeal flour. So have your cup so that it's overflowing almost with flour into your bowl. Into that then we'll put a pinch of salt, around this much, not very much, and again we're using the reduced sodium salt. Now if you want to you can put a spoon of sugar into it, um, but I don't think um, we really need to do that. Then here I have some measuring spoons. So I'm going to use a half a teaspoon of cream of tartar. Okay, so just a half a teaspoon and level off your spoon and into your mixture. Then into it, I am now going to add a teaspoon of bread soda. And again, level it off so that you don't have too much because I'm sure at some stage everybody has had brown bread that's got those little green flecks in it. Then we're going to add into this mixture just a knob of butter or margarine and a knob is about 10 grams if you want to measure it if you want like to weigh it now just rub that into your flour and lift up your flour to aerate it rubbing in the piece, rubbing in your margarine or your piece of butter with the tips of your fingers okay this makes your brown bread nice and light. It's a nice relaxing thing to do. Oh, and some fresh homemade brown bread with some cheese and tomato really nice for your tea or your supper so you can feel the difference in the mixture that it's now lighter than what it was when we than when i started and into that I'm going to add milk. I can find my milk. Sorry, just a moment. I 
and lift it. So it's a half a pint of milk and if you pour it into the mug that you measure the flour with, it should come up to about this much on your mug, okay? Then I have a spatula, a nice silicone soft spatula. Make a well in the centre and add in your milk. Almost all of it. And then add the rest. Mix your mixer, mix, mix your mixture together with your spatula. Your mixture will be nice and soft. And then that you can you can just pour that. into your prepared tin. If you like, you could add some seeds or just sprinkle a few seeds on the top or just leave it as is. So my oven is preheated to 200 degrees Fahrenheit. That would be gas mark six. some seeds on so into my oven at 200 degrees after 10 minutes turn your oven down to 180 and 35 minutes more and I'll show you then how you know if it's baked So your bread should come out nice and brown on the top, turn it out, tap it on the centre and there should be a hollow sound so your brown bread is now cooked. Then get a clean dry tea towel, wrap your bread up in it and put it on a wire tray to cool. Bon appétit and good luck.